I'm from Uptown. I need a bus down. Oh, they don't play. Que lo que? I'm like, what's up now? I'm from Uptown. This for mommy's getting loose. All my big booty duties. Tell your man to keep it cool. I keep a big tooly tooly. I be smoking while she twerking. I hype it. I'm a hype man with the stone and sip Coronas while I'm chilling up at Dykeman. Whoa. One. And we're live. And wow, that was a banger. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kobe Show with co host Tommy OTV. What's going on, baby? You know who it is, man. Music producer worldwide. Let's get it, man. And we got Lava Luciano, our very special guest today, which you just seen his very special music oh, video he just dropped light. a few days ago. Tell us about it, Lava. Well, I just dropped a video called Uptown uh, with Miliano Big Drip. Shout outs to him. Uh, Miliano. Uh, actually, you know, I didn't really know him too much. I just met him through other known affiliates that I've known or whatever. Um, but as far as me, you know, I'm an upcoming artist from the Bronx. Do it for the ex. Uh, oh, Luciano. I love the name, man. One yeah. thing, uh, tell us how you got that name. I never asked Okay, that. so the lover part, I got it from my aunts and my family and them. They called me lover all my life because they said when I was a baby, I used to like reach for like the breast of females and oh, they was, was like, a lover. Oh, you was a lover. Yeah, like, yeah, he's a lover boy. And they called me lover for my whole life. And then the Luciano part came from my favorite mobster. His name was Lucky Luciano. And I thought it sounded like a nice play on words. Love of Luciano, Lucky Luciano. It goes together. Great. And I went with that. I like that. Um, and another thing about that music video, I was really interested at the, even before the music video, the beginning of it. Like, how do you start with the track? I'm not really familiar with that. How does it all come together? Okay, so when he hit me up about doing a track, we did a, we did a tr uh, track prior to that. But he was rapping in English, Miliano Big Drip, and he didn't like the English version. Oh, he's a Spanish rapper. Right. So, I, I actually found the beat um, for the Spanish song. Who, who, who got the beat from? Where was the beat I, from? I found it on YouTube. Oh, it's true. Yeah, I found it on YouTube. And, um, and um, I bought it, and I was just like, I sent it to him. And he, he liked it off the rip. And then I kind of like sent him a voice note, a cappella of me just singing the hook. And oh. he was like, this is dope. He became um, a lover. Huh. Yeah, and um, I, can't, I went... I dropped my, my verse, sent it to him, because we didn't record in the same studio. I sent him my verse. He sent me his verse back. I thought it was dope. Um, we got the clean version. We we got that. We put it out. Mastered it all. And then, yeah. Let me ask you how, did you, how did you guys exchange those files? Was it on the phone? Yeah. You sent yep. them to each so other. you dropped your verse? So basically, I went to the studio. I recorded my verse. They, um, my engineer emailed it to me. Then I just forwarded it straight to him. And when he opened it and he went to whatever studio he went, he recorded his version and sent it Ah, so your engineer already mixed everything down. It's good to go mm -hmm. to lay it down and mm -hmm. complete it, right? Right. And and your boy, um, does he also have a studio that he can uh, he can go to to get, uh, you know, to, to lay down, uh, you know, high quality of his verse? Right. Right. So he got that as well, right? Yeah. And then, got the, an engineer and everything? and then the big steps, the music video. I'm always interested in how that comes to terms because I got a bang on your hands. I got something you're really proud of and you want to get it out even more step two how do you approach a director how do you pick a director and how does the process go well um every director is different um, oh you've had multiple before right I've, de I've dealt with a couple of different directors um some directors when you hit them up like i had one who he wanted you to send him the song if i like the treatment we can keep it or if i wanted to tweak some things and put my own input on it we go from there so he's basically doing his research, the recon on it all. Right. What is about the budget of it? How do you how do you manage? Is there more expensive guys, hookups? How's it? There's some guys who are more expensive because of the name and because oh. of who they work with. Basically. Right. And there's some guys who aren't. Some guys who aren't that expensive does just as good as a job as the guys who are ex expensive. But it's all about you know what I mean, um, quality. And me as an artist, I don't really cut no corners, so I don't. Some people be like trying to save every dollar. Me, if I feel like you gotta invest in yourself, gotta pay for the best you gotta, product. You gotta, you gotta, know that. yeah, you gotta put money in. We know that yourself. best here at the Kobe Show. Yeah, so. And let me ask you this, man. Uh, so you know, you got yourself a cameraman, a director, right? Now, did did you get anybody separate, or is it the same guy who did uh, video effects for your music video? Um, same guy. So he same took guy. care of everything. Same guy, yeah. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. So talented. basically, um, once I sent him the song and I, we knew what we wanted to do, um, he sent me this website. For, for me to book the place. It's a, it's a website called Peer Space or whatever. And we got the place with the green screen background and all of that. And they, they were real good because they set everything up for Damn, us and all that. They so prepared you did your research. Nice. Yeah. How long did you spend um, during that green screen time? We, we did about two, two three hours. 
And this was like um, footage you used for specific scenes in the right, theater? Right, right, because we did another scene at Dykeman. And did you have any say in the backgrounds that he chose for that green screen? Or was that up to the director guy? Oh, no. We all put our input on, on everything, yeah. So let me ask you, man. When you guys uh, shot all the footage, right? You guys went to that green screen location. You had other locations, right? And you guys uh, made a schedule for yourselves beforehand? Or you said uh, that you guys did everything on the go? No, see, um, we would schedule a day like, okay, so Sunday, uh, Sunday in two weeks, we're going to do this. Is everybody free? And then we would go Gotta from there. Got to be free for that, yeah. free time for that. And that was Carmelo Anthony on your screensaver, wasn't it? Yeah. That shows you're a big, you're big NBA fan. Melo's your favorite player? Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Kobe is my favorite player ever. He's the GOAT. Melo's right behind. And then it's LeBron. That's interesting because we're gonna talk about some NBA stuff. I got a lot of things I want to bring up to you since you're a fan. Is a heated rookie of the year race. Well, you know, some people may disagree, but what do you think about that? Uh, I think Jaws the clear clear cut in the front of the pack. But someone I, behind him. There's someone right behind him. But I tell you what, Zion, if he was playing from the beginning, he probably. So you don't you don't think. He'll win it, but but so let's say, what scenario of what he does for the rest of this season makes him the clear winner? What what can he do? Hmm, that's tough. I think the only way, you know how the media controls things. It's a narrative. Is if they was to bump the Grizzlies down, and not just get the eighth, but if they was to somehow get the seventh seed. And he keeps doing what he's doing for the next 20 games. You could argue co-rookie of the year. Co-rookie of the year. What do you think about that, Tanya? I mean, honestly, if you look at his recent highlights and what he's been doing and his 35-point outburst against the Lakers, that's huge, especially this time of the season when both the Grizzlies and the Pelicans are competing for the eighth spot. To me, um, you know, he's living up to the hype. more than, than everybody it. had before he entered the league. Of course, he had the injury troubles. But right now, he's really living up to the hype. So, to me, I think he's front runner. But it's very tough because both these guys are incredible players. And, yeah, you brought you know up I mean? the you brought up the, 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 the race for the eighth seed. We, we, we could check that out. Let's check that out real quick. So, it's actually interesting because you're right. If he bumps him out and even gets seventh, it's, it's not po- I don't think it's possible for a seventh. Let's check the standings. So... Right here, we got the Pelicans, 26-34, ninth, and they would just need three wins to bust the Grizzlies out, but the Grizzlies wouldn't have to get much wins. But look how far they are from the Mavericks. It's, <laughs> that would be crazy if they jumped to seventh. What a 10-game difference. That's insane. And let's, let's, uh, let's, actually, look at what, let's actually look at the upcoming schedules because that's a big talk. That, that, okay. uh, what you were telling me uh, earlier today, you were telling me something. Uh, the Grizzlies, they have like one of the toughest schedules going Let's down. Look at the schedules right here. So yeah, they, they're basically looking for ass beatings. This whole this whole season left. There's not many games left. It's about 20, 20, 30 games left. Yeah. So look at them playing the Hawks twice within the next week. Then they're served. <laughs> <laughs> to a cutting Morant. Wow. That's that that was control. big time as. Inside of four remaining first quarter. Morant straightaway three. That man's got his badges. Get yeah, all of them. Clean perimeter look. I think, uh, if Rondo hits you with shots from the perimeter, you live with that. That right, th- th- that right there, I think, is his best Davis quality. The passing. It's passing? Yeah, I agree. Just two of six from three. Kuzma getting physical inside. <laughs> you getting physical. Nice oh, looking at Kuzma's had a... He's, Cruz was had a pretty like up and down season. He he he's been kind of bad this year. He's showing sparks, and then he's like the light is out. But honestly, he's more like a role player. You know what it is too, and I think um, who I'm not sure if it was Steve Nash or Jason Kidd. One of them said it. Um, these kids are more concerned about how their pregame outfit is going to be. I agree. Look, and being on Instagram and being pretty and whatever, rather than working on their games. And this is it shows. I agree. It shows. Grizzlies led it 29-25 after one quarter. Morant off the curl. Pretty move. A step back. Gun that goes as he throws Anthony Davis. 13 early third quarter. Yeah. 
And Atlanta trying to do the Grizzlies a favor, but then we need them to play bad basketball in a couple days. Oh, for for three. Yeah, his arc is not as high, like as, as as it should be. But that's because he's not a, he's not a, he doesn't have his grown man body yet. As he fills his body out a little more, it'll, he's only he's all how old is he? He's, about, right. he's about nineteen. He has a lot. Yeah, he's yeah. got a lot of weight to gain. That's exactly. But he's got that feel for the game already. Yeah. So. so imagine when he does fill into his body and he's stronger and more crafty. He's gonna. And the crazy thing is, I think his field goal percentage is already pretty high up there. Uh, I heard him say in the media that it's close to 50%. Yeah, he's... He's, so he's a 19-year-old beast. Already. Screen by Valanchunas. Morant, foul line, gun that goes. He, he's really good with that play, the pick and roll, and then he does a step back mid-range. That seems like 9 out of 10, he, he's going to hit that. If he's dribbling and you let him get a rhythm dribble, standstill jumper, tough to stop. Morant down the lane, Pete that's, Valanciunas that's for the he excels. That is where he excels. Morant. Oh. Against Davis. Davis don't want it no more. Davis don't want, want it no more. Let's go, baby. Woo. Oh, my God. Davis does not want it. Nice played big minutes last night because the game was on the line late. Morant. It's control. It's a little bit of magic for Morant. Man, that is guarding. You've got to have a, a soft touch to too. Being as his career goes forward. Oh, what a pass! He's got it all. The binoculars come out. That's his little thing. Oh, he has some little time. Currently, he's a 14. Lakers turnovers turned him into 18 points so far. Also, he said keep making the he tried to kill it that game. Ah, right, John. That's the best play of the game. Oh, good block it. by Jang. That's great. That was nice. That's his left hand. All right, so let's get into uh, Zion, man. Big <laughs> game from Zion. 35 points. His career high, guys. Yeah, let me tell so, you. We're mm -hmm. reacting to once in a lifetime history of Zion right here, man. This is the duel of the something. decade. You see you see Zion in a fight with a bear, help the bear. Help the bear. <laughs> no doubt. This bear is gonna have troubles. The way this man treats other grown men. Yeah, man. Next Woo. UFC fight. Zion versus Nerf Nerf Metal. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. Holiday looking to push tempo here. The Pelicans. Number five in the NBA in fast break points. Favors. No, but Zion. There he goes. I think his arms, like if you look at his arms, that's what I think is like the, <laughs> the craziest part. Like size of both of my legs. His this arms is, is just huge. so huge, mm -hmm. and you you never usually see a guy stand next to LeBron and look yep. more, and make LeBron look normal. And listen, look look at LeBron's face right now. We can't really see it; it's distorted. But you know that <laughs> that look in his eyes is so. Yeah, he's really it's like, yo, this kid. I gotta put out my best performances LeBron with knows, this. He knows that's the future. <laughs> this nineteen-year-old. I gotta. I gotta put my best performance out. <laughs> Screen by Williamson, looking to roll, but Green recovered. Now the lob from Lonzo. Af effortless. He's over three. Williamson he goes right at LeBron right here. James goes right at him and finishes. I want to ask you guys. Lonzo Ball and Zion Williamson. Last year, you know, we know a couple of years back, Zion, excuse me, Lonzo Ball, we knew he had passing abilities. His shot percentages were low, and he wasn't living up to the hype of his name. But now we really see... He's got a better feel of the game. Exactly, better feel. But not only that, man, we see him as a true passer. And to unite him with a guy like Zion, it's going to help a him. a crazy dual force right now. Going right. On. And it, not to mention, they still have Brandon Ingram over there, who's a whole bucket. He's the leading exactly. scorer. He's yeah. the leading scorer for now. He's the leading scorer. Zion's three. How, how often, if you think back, Dave, the time you've been covering LeBron? His head looks like the court. I saw, I saw. His hair. <laughs> and and what, what people don't understand is. Kyle Kuzma is six, six, eight, six, nine. That motherfucker's two, two something. You're you're knocking around a six nine two he's something man like he's a child. Tough. Yeah, man. That just goes to speak towards his strength. That's exactly. crazy. He's a Barkley, man. These kids coming in the league with the feel of the game like that. And you know what it is, man. Around the rim, I don't think anybody in the league can stop Zion right now. No matter who's guarding him, seven foot. He can find his way. Anybody he's, right now. He's been doing it consistently. His center of gravity and like like I said, we were talking about his weight. His height don't matter at this point because he, he's built like a like some linebacker, crazy, cracked up exactly <laughs> right. linebacker. Right. I think the only guy who would probably give him a lot of trouble around the rim was probably Giannis and Antetokounmpo. 
because, I mean, he's giving everyone because trouble. of how sh- he's just as strong and he's tall, man. He's his arms and he's they went at it once already this season. Exactly. Yeah, Giannis yeah. yeah. done yeah. put him in his place. Giannis blocked him. You know, <laughs> they got each other. Back. Yeah, that was a nice duel going on. So I, I, I want to see that. Love, much love from the possible rookie of the year, Zion Williams. Between Williamson and James. For just the second time Tuesday when they played in LA. I'm going with Zion Williamson for rookie of the year. I'm guaranteeing he's going to knock this out of the Look, you, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, from the Kobe show. There you go, guys. He's getting praised. He's basically telling him, yo, you're amazing. Well, LeBron, LeBron seemed like he was a little salty, too. Um, a little bit? Because he got outscored. No, not because of that. It's because last year when Zion was getting drafted, LeBron put out an offer like if Zion wanted advice from him or whatever he could always reach out and Zion didn't I don't remember this. he oh. didn't reach out Zion away. and that's why the other night the first time they played LeBron was like I never met him but he said it like so like like he was hurt by it because wow. it's a it's a project when a guy who's supposed to be one of the top prospects who's being yeah. compared to you and he doesn't want to reach out to you he doesn't want your advice what was Zion what was Zion's reason for that he's probably he's Probably he's a he's a he's a he's a competitor like like LeBron. Okay, yeah, competitor. he's keeping it professional. I, I, I could I could respect you from an arm race, an arm yeah. length. I don't have to, you know, kiss up to you to to respect you. So exactly, he doesn't have to do that because Zion already has developed a huge name for himself. Right during his college days, and LeBron also doesn't need any extra press by him contacting Zion as well. Right. So it could be maybe that he's reaching out from his heart, or maybe. He has some future ideas with Zion, maybe to get him on a shoe deal under under LeBron's name. You know what I mean? So maybe that's some. Like, Too many things. <laughs> Could they, you think we don't know? But, but that's definitely. what I like about Zion, man. He, he, he did not, um, you know, t- uh, take upon that offer, and he's kind of operating in a similar way that Giannis is. Mm-hmm. You know, Giannis doesn't like to work out. Other right. Players, you know that. So that's why that's these qualities, man, that I feel is missing a lot in players in NBA these mm-hmm. days. But these two guys, man, Giannis and Zion, man, they're taking over right now with this. Yep. Some words of wisdom. Thanks for- <laughs> Zion Williamson, rookie of the year. You heard it here first, folks. Kobe Shaw is guaranteeing. I don't want to hear it, guys. Zion Williamson is taking it. He's taking the Grizzlies out, and he's going to become rookie of the year. It's here. You going to disagree with that? I think Ja. Just, ja. He's done too much. Where, where, where are you going with, Tamio? Um, I think right now I'm enjoying both of them, but I think Zion it just has that crazy, crazy, electrifying, slight, slight advantage over John Morant. And the, issue, the thing is, Zion uh, came in late, okay, into his first season. Yeah. John Moran has been there since the first game, pretty much. Okay, so I think if the NBA will allow it, it do you know if that's allowed? If a guy misses a certain amount Anything. of games, can he still be Ben Simmons missed the whole year. He's, Next he's still available to be rookie of the year, but I just think it's going to be tough. You know, for me, man, um, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. Uh, when it comes to the who's gonna make the playoffs, who's who's gonna make okay, the eight seed. that's a that's a good one. That's fair. Whoever's ahead, I think I'll choose. But in my opinion, man, uh, Pelicans got a slightly better team in terms of pieces, man. If we're mm. gonna remember names, they have a full squad actually. Yeah. You know, even Reddick as a shooter. Right. And oh then, yeah, they got a better squad. I was also gonna ask you who do you think has the better squad around them. Yeah, the Pelicans definitely do. But I think um, with time, you know, Jai's putting on a. This is an, aud- an audition. He's showing the league, look what I can do. Yes. Come play with me. Uh, so yeah. He's, he's going to recruit players. He'll be able to recruit players. I agree with that. I was going to mention like 27 to 14. Those are crazy double doubles. Mm-hmm. A man who could get 25 plus and 10 plus assists, he, they, he's going he's gonna to have a lot of people wanting to come play with him. That's, that's guaranteed. That's what it is right now, man. They're both tied at this point right now with what they're doing. So the reason I brought up NBA was because I listen to your bars. You, you're very, you're a very good lyricist, and that's that's what points out to me. That's what makes me a fan. And there's a, this is one bar that you got into, uh, despite from all the basketball ones. It was a little political. It was it was a uh, B- George Bush, the Bushes. Okay. I didn't I didn't quite I didn't I don't quite remember. I know you remember this one. Yeah. Tell me which one was this? Where, um, how did it go? I actually got a lot of like presidential bars, but that bar specifically, I think it went um. If it's warm at your door, I got the uh-huh. steel gripping. I'm in between the bushes Bush, like I'm like Bill, Bill Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. That one really hit me because it showed you got your knowledge right on the president. Right, you, right. Um, you're into politics? Yeah, I am, big time. Politics, you're following the, the races right now and everything that's going on? Yeah, um, I see what's going on with the Democratic Party. And, the Repo- and well, we, we all know Trump is... Trump is Trump. <laughs> Trump is Trump. Trump is Trump. It's, it's very interesting because I've noticed... I don't know if you've always been. You've definitely always been in the politics. But for people like me, 
I haven't really been into it until just recently, this 2016, you know, Trump running amok and, and really getting a lot of more people into it. But right. I, quite, I don't quite understand it as much. I'm still one of those people not in the know of it. Well, let me just give you the background. Yeah. Because me, I was always like type like, I was like a gangster nerd in school. <laughs> really? Love Luciano, everybody, gangster so, nerd. I would, like the teachers would give us vocabulary words to study and I would go in the back of the, of the book and search up like 20 extra ones. You was doing your extra words. Right? right, so that's why when you look into like how I break words down, people see like, okay, he's, you know, but um, yeah. I like Sanders. I agree. He I was like doing Sanders. stuff with tuition. Yeah. I, that's, once I heard about that, I'm like, he's probably not going to win. Yeah. That was, that's something that's, that's like really tough to get. Boy. And then you got Bloomberg who's, he's basically the democratic version of Donald Trump. Really? They're going to use it. He's just going to try to use his money to get himself, you know. And he's just as uh, obnoxious and... Just as just, just rich. Well, not just just, just, but he's A lot of similar qualities there. <laughs> and I brought it up because your bars are my favorite thing about you. I listen to your music nonstop and Appreciate catch that. new things over and over and over. And which is why I created the segment today. We're going to rate some bars, ladies and gentlemen. I have a segment called Rate My Bars. Not my bars, but rappers' bars. And I'm not going to tell you who these are. We have them here on the screen. You're going to analyze them, read them, and uh, tell me what you think. Rate them out of five, and then I'm just going to tell you who they are. Bust it for me, mommy. Bust it for me, mommy. Bust it. Suck it for me, mommy. Suck it for me, mommy. Okay. Suck it. So this so, is the first one right here. So the first one, AK-47, make a nigga do the bachata. Eating eat quesadilla, fucking on his baby mama. Ran out of drugs, flew the plug out from Uganda, <laughs> street nigga. <laughs> I bust his I bust his head for forty dollars. <laughs> um <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> who is that? So uh, this is something that just slaps to me. This slaps to me. I think the way you read it, like if you read it like in a certain way, yeah. You gotta go to, uh, like, uh, 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 uh. AK forty seven make a nigga do the bachata. Hey. Eating case of deal. No, 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 no. I'ma give it out of five. Out of five, you gotta give it out of five. Rate the bars. And... I give it I'm gonna give it a three. Because I like the flow. Three is I like the flow. flow. Yeah. I like Ladies the and flow. gentlemen, Lil Pump is three. Three out of five words. I, I like the flow. AK forty seven make a nigga do bachata. Eating case of deal, fucking on his baby mama. Ooh. Ran out of drugs, flew the plug out from Uganda. Huh? Street nigga, I bust his head for forty dollars. You know, I gotta mention that I'm I'm actually feeling this, man. I like the imagery in this one. The whole bachata dance him in the case of D on his baby mama. <laughs> you know how he is. And, and he's and he's flying his plug from Uganda. Man, all <laughs> he ran out of drugs. Ran out of drugs. Got I mean, five. I gotta give him probably like a four point five. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm giving five out of five. Shout out to Lil Pump. I'm dope. You know, I'm a little, I, you I'm, a, I, I'm a little tough uh, of a critic. So That's you know, perfect. Course, so, course, let's get to, let's get to number two. We got number two coming that was, up. That was Lil Pump, by the way. We got something here. All right, so this one says, sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like them thick, sometimes I combine and I like them slick. <laughs> I know who this is. This is Fab. <laughs> <laughs> why, is, why do you know that? who that is? Sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like thick, sometimes I combine and I like them slick. Because anybody who listens to me know or, or watches the way I dress, you can see he's, he's got a big influence on me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to give this a four. <laughs> four out of five bars, five. Let me give it a four and a half because the creativity he, he used. To, it, it's something like so so normal, and it's yeah. like a but this it's so slick. I just love it's it. It's real love slick it. though. It's real slick. So I'm and I'm, uh, tell everybody, Fab is one of your one of your biggest inspirations, right? Right. You love that. I always tell him he's better than Fab. <laughs> I tell him he's Fab, but better. It's, it's I, crazy. I'm not gonna say that. But, um. <laughs> let's get to the next. Let's get to the next one. I like this next one coming up. So number three, let's let's go with it. All right. So this one says. Then I got the phone call. It couldn't hit me harder. We got infl we got infiltrated like Nina at the car to her tech got murdered in some time. I never heard about some bitch now Alberta over nickel plated burns. This is Biggie. This B.I.G. Biggie, this is like my favorite of all time. This is his so dope. I, I know. I'm going to get that a five because that was just dope. That, the, like, the, everything about it was everything. dope. You know what I mean? Everything. The, the delivery, what he's talking about, dope. I knew you'd like that one. I knew it. Dope. I knew you was going to fess over this one because that hit me. That hit me, and I'm not a big, big fan, but I, that shit hit me. I like that. I got this next one. 
All right. This one says, This is me. <laughs> Hopping this shit, and I'm better than never. Materialistic. Spent five on his sweater. My side chick left me. Yeah, it's whatever. I got like two more. So why why even sweater? Hopped in the shit and I'm better than uh-huh. ever. But you this with a five on uh-huh. the sweater. My side chick left me, oh yes, whatever. I got the two more, so why even sweater? Uh-huh. Hmm. The sweater and the sweat her wordplay right there. Hmm. Hmm. I like that one. All hmm. right, man. I'm trying to think who that is. I don't know who that is, but I'm gonna say it's a good one. I'm gonna get it to four. This is a good one. Hop in this, and I'm better than never. Materialistic spent five on a sweater. My side chick left me a yes, ass, whatever. I got like two more, so why even sweater? That is Henny Ty right there, my homeboy. That's four. That's a four. I like that. Yeah, he has well. bars. I like, bars. That. I like good, that. I like the sweater uh, workplay. Shout like out to Henny Ty, everybody. Let's get it on. So he had four bars. Chicks, now he's down to two. I like that. Side chick left me. It's whatever. <laughs> I like two bars. Okay, we got some big bars. Number five. Um, so this one says, never take for granted on this planet all the time we spend. Oof. Passport full of stamps <laughs> in all different continents. I travels. I be out I be out of town so much you don't even see the kid. <laughs> I be hard to catch like I'm on my John Cena shit. <laughs> Flight stay consuming all the money I be making quick. Home chilling next weekend out in Spain blowing baby checks. I, I like this. I like this, but this is probably a talented young man. Hmm. Is this by you, Lewis? <laughs> hmm. All this travel and stuff. I'm gonna give oh, this. Oh, it is you, yo. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like a three, three this and a half. Co- this is Kobe guy getting three and a half stars from a bar guy himself. Three That's three pretty good. I like I'm, it. I wrote this for this bit. For this bit. I like it because he talked. He and talked. I swear I did not review the script enough to actually know that he actually wrote it. I just figured this out. Yeah, he was talking. Let's check number six out, ladies and gentlemen. We got we got three bars for me. Whew. Let's go number six. All right. Might be a typo there. Some will. Some but, will try. Some will. Okay. So this one says, I know the game some will try to get amped. You push the envelope. Some of us provided the stamp. I like that. The the predecessors wrote the letters, others sealed it shut. Some was nice without the perks before a meal got touched. Spies, spies. Hmm. That's spies. Hmm. Who's this? That's that's. You really want to know before you put it up? <laughs> he doesn't know who it is. Is it? He doesn't know who it is. No, no, no. I know the game. Some will try to get amp. You push the envelope. Some of us provided the stamp. The predecessors wrote the letter. Others sealed it shut. Some was nice without the perks before a mill got touched. That's Joe Budden, right? I know the game. Some are trying to get in. Push the envelope. Some of us provided the stamps. The predecessors wrote the letter. Others sealed it shut. Some was nice without the perks before a mill got touched. Okay. I, you know what? His style. It's Joe Budden. It, it, it fits. That, that's, I'm giving him four out of five bars. I'm giving him four out of five. I really like this. And it was not even the best in that whole song. This is just one of the ones that really stuck out to me. I give it a four. Then we got one more. Then we got one more. Scroll down. I think one of the craziest lines I heard Joe Button say was, um, "Shit." He was like, uh, "All my," he said, "All my niggas come in fatigue, like Corva." Who? He's saying all his guys come in army fatigue, but when, when, when Kyle Corva and, and Jeff Teague was on the, 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 the Hawks, <laughs> Kyle Corva was the some backup. That's something you would say. That's something but you would say. That was dope. So, so he come, come in, in for fatigue. fatigue. Like, that was oh, crazy. crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. crazy. That mm-hmm. was crazy. Right? That's some shit you would say. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie to you. We got number seven, the final one. I was looking for something from uh, Pat Poose when I found this guy. Seven. We got two okay. more. Here. Here we go. Okay, so this one says, "She calling me Poppy. She tell me killer shit, so I'm catching the homie." <laughs> <laughs> Finish it, finish it. All she do is give me brains so she think I'm a zombie. <laughs> All I do is keep my head in the box like an ID. Yeah. I fuck her ASAP. She calling me rocket so the, the real flow supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> you know the real flow? Oh, okay. Just finish, finish uh, uh, Hold on. I'm trying to remember it. Um, 
Uh, 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 she, she calling me poppy tell me, Or she tell me killer shit So I'm catching the high me All she do is give me brains So she think I'm a zombie All I do is put my head in her box Like an ID Yeah I fuck her ASAP So she calling me Rocky So I, You know what I'm gonna give it a 4 Just cause I like the flow I like the flow I think I the wasn't flow really, made me It wasn't really too much What I was saying in this It was just the flow I tried You know the, what I mean This is Lava Luciano time y'all Honestly man I'm gonna have to give this a 5 Not because of here I'm gonna be honest <laughs> I like sexual imagery. <laughs> so when I make music, I actually write similar stuff like this, where I'm talking about like you know you and the girl doing this kind of stuff and trying to make it like a rap vibe. You know? mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you a five on this. That's dope. Calling me poppy, yeah she tell me killer shit, so I'm catching the homie. All she do is give me brain, so she think I'm a zombie. I can show you where the cash is, like I'm Ali. Show the face real, right and I'm feeling the body. All I do is put my head in the box like a ID. Yeah I fuck a ASAP, so she calling me Rocky. Night. Right, there's one. There's one more actually. I forgot I added his in there. I was thinking of Papu something, and then I found him. I was going deep down in your SoundCloud to find something you wouldn't know, but. All right. So. This one's fire. I got what you need. I give it to you real. The highs and the lows, however you want to feel. You want that You want that night out? I got that night quill. You want that matrix? Then choose the right pill. This is <laughs> That's hard. That's fire. That's right hard. There. The way this person said it, too, was better than the, even the lyrics. That's hard. Um... I got what you need, Kim, give it to you real With the highs and the lows, however you want to feel You want that night out, I got that night quill You want that matrix and choose the right pill That's real, yeah I'm gonna get out of five that sounds I like too. that, I like that that's Lil Kim right there. I and got what you need. To, I like you know? that. I knew it had to be somebody. To be real. Yeah, that that that's highs and lows. However you want to feel, you want. She's that another out. one who's like crazy. Back in her prime, wordplay. Oh, people wow. would not know. Are these all people that I really know? You will get a kick out of because these are people who respect the craft. Right, right, right. They really, but but even um, even these these bars remind me of you. <laughs> like these are all bars. Like you know, I could I could hear you spitting, or I could have, I could sense the wordplay coming out of you and stuff like that. Like these these are all respectable artists who respect the game and are legends in the game forever and always. Yeah, and I, and I can always appreciate. I'm surprised we got an M one up there. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, wanted, I know that was gonna be too easy. I was like, you know, let me not let me not let him expect something like that because I feel like M is like, come on, you can already tell me what I'm about to say. Like, it's, I think M, he might be the dopest with, with wordplay ever. And I think Wayne was one of the best with punches. I agree. I agree with you 100%. Punches. Like, I think uh, New M. New M is, is a dog. Yeah, I like him. But old M is, is always going to be the best. But New M is more like... He's getting more clever. More thinkable. Yeah, I mean, like, he said something. I posted it. Yes, it was uh, on the, the his new album with Young M.A. And he about said, the pupils. Yeah, he said something about... I feel like... Um, he said... I know what he said. He said, listen, so he said... Something about oh, I'm watching my pupils get cornea. Yeah, that was crazy. God, he that said, was crazy. I'm, I'm watching my pupils get cornea. That's yeah. like the, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that's crazy. crazy. He said, I'm watching my pupils get cornea. Oh my god, that that man is insane. So what do we do? We we love what Eminem says. We love the way he puts together words. We love the way he he has multiple meanings. His double entendres. In songs, he would even have an ad lib as <laughs> double entendre. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like in uh, Darkness, uh, shots after shots, I'm getting loaded. He was talking about, <laughs> you know, he's insane. And I, I'm sure you, you have so much inspiration from him because I was listening to your SoundCloud stuff and I noticed you put out there similes, metaphors, double entendre after double entendre. Like you, do you ever run out? You know, I get that question a lot. A lot of people ask me, like, yo, how do you come up with this? Like, you don't run out of punchlines. You don't run out of... And I say, you know, it's always something to talk about. You know what I mean? Like, there's always something to talk about. I could make a whole punchline out of just rocks outside mm -hmm. and talk about I'm getting bolder because <laughs> they send a block to me. And, you know, I could yeah, just that's always... Yeah, that's how you are, man. You know what I mean? So it's just easy for me. Minecraft bars right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why you're, you're one of the greatest rappers right now in you the know, Bronx. Look, Guaranteed. I'm I telling you that. that. And let me ask you, Shanna, um, so when you're writing these bars, right, um, now, does wordplay depend a lot on the type of beat it is? L let's say you find a beat you like, right? Uh, do you come into the verse thinking, okay, I, I, I'm trying to test out like wordplay, or do you just go into like writing whatever's in your head? So basically, when I hear a beat, I mumble. Until I get mm -hmm, the words, mm -hmm, I just I like so I'm mumbling and I'm locking down the flow first. 
And once I lock down the flow, the and, words start and to And you kind of put words together. Right. So if it's like, da, 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 you'll be right. like, da, 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 and then right. you'll probably think of a word from the beginning right. to the end. There you go. But let me ask you, does every song um, consist of, you know, this type of wordplay? Or we have some songs where, like, you know, like you said, you're going to mumble, mumble, get the flow down. And then you fill out and you fill out that flow with maybe something other than wordplay. It could be something well, else. once in a while, I street talk, you know, because that's where I came from. And I'll tell you, I'll talk about, like, my coming up and what I've seen in life. And, I, you know, one of the things I do well is storytell. And a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, that's true. I'm a great storyteller. Um, and sometimes you'll hear a song from me storytelling. You'll hear a party song. You'll hear a love song. You'll hear just songs of me just spitting. So, Lover Luciano. We had the great interview. We had the show. But... We gotta end off on a good note. Guess what that is? We got bars. a freestyle for you. Bars, 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 bars. bars. Tommyo, run that. We're gonna have Lover Luciano spread some bars with this beat from Hypnotic Proud, the youngin' from the BX, 14 year old producer. We're gonna see what you got on that. Let's see what I got. Let's get it, Luciano. Hit him with the beat. Yeah. Well, people, I think it's pretty clear who the winner is today. Look, you know the gotta pick your girl up. It's a fee for that, like the World Cup. Pretty Spanish chick, says she half tie. I hit my lawn like it was the God. Let's go half tie. <laughs> Street saying I'm a problem. My bar's like Batman town. I got them. <laughs> I might pop one, yeah I might pop son, I'll have bullets pass in your seat, I call shotgun, uh, flowing it well, I give him a say 10, now he going to hell, when I'm in the booth it's just me and not dog, I'm blind to the world, you ain't seeing not dog, hmm. that was something slick, I hope you caught that, flavor flavor, I was season 2, bring New York back, am I the best, it's no test, who flow greater, I blow his thoughts out, it's a no-brainer. Uh, hold on, let me catch it again. Look, 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 look. I'm here to give his airlines like a stewardess. They said real recognize real. I'm like, who is this? You ain't got no nuts, dog. I guess you new to this. You know me. I'ma back up the Brody on some shrewder shit. Catch I ain't with the foolishness. <laughs> Rather let the Ruger spit. Can't chill. I need a quick meal like a nutriment. Y'all be on some loser shit. I be on some shooting shit. Oh. Semi clap. You getting mini caps like a Jewish kid. Shorty don't mind gold digging. I'm through with it. The clothes that I used to center foreign. Oh. Vucevic don't oh. sweat or leave a red over green on some Kruger shit. Oh. Trigger finger licking on the 40. That's my cougar bitch. Oh. I be on some super shit. Yeah. Hating suck a super dick. They trying to see errors in the kid on some future shit. Oh, I'll be on some gruesome shit. They say I got a cooler pin. Put me amongst the best and I'm a Buddhist shit. Oh, Never baby. catch me slipping. Cutting on the road. Oh. If rap don't work, I'm cutting on the stove. Woo. My Spotify is popping. Love is on a roll. Yeah. Facebook alerts. I'm doing numbers on the globe. Oh. Even if I leave, the haters miss love him. Call him Tyler Perry. He playing bitch, brother. If I don't get you now, you'll later get stuck up. I could punch your melanin like I hate your skin color. <laughs> Always oh, pinning here without doobies. I'm trying to get an Oscar without Trudy. Oh. Never catch me slipping without toolies. I'm always bodying a nigga. Get out movie. Like, <laughs> they ain't catch that. They ain't catch half of that, ladies and gentlemen. They ain't catch half of that. That's something right there that Love Luciano does best. Run that well, back. People, Listen to what I you didn't hear because there's a lot of it you didn't catch. Over your head. Like a halo. <laughs> Yo, I love that amongst the best with the Buddha line. Next, oh, my God. Because obviously... You, 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 you were talking about monks, right? Right, right, right. Punch the me... melanin like I hit your skin color. <laughs> That's science. This guy was a geek. He was a geek. A middle school geek. A, a gangster geek. What'd you call him? <laughs> a hood geek or hood something geek. like that, he yeah. Was really, he was really doing his research. Now, tell me, I, I know you got something for him. All right, man, so check this out. We're going to hit you with the, with the beat you have not heard. You man, heard no beat. beat before, so you had a little idea. So we're going to hit you with an impromptu beat of mine. Tommy TV. so... Tommy TV. Let's get an impromptu freestyle over here. Let's get it. Lewis might have heard. It. He might have heard these bars. I'm just saying. He's about to go oh, down with the, with the with the Tamio stuff. Let's pop this one in right here. It's what you got for us, Tommy? Okay. Where's the tag at? Okay. 
you like I'm club style, like club that. style. Look. Uh, they saying love on some gutter shit. You know this man on some sucker shit. Look. I'm getting high here on some shumper shit. Uh. Wait, high here shum? Well, that's something slick. <laughs> Sucker, well, cuz we fucking with. Love to get your mother hit on some mother shit. Uh. Get your mother hit. The non happy die nasty on some ducker shit. Whoa, I told you that I'm cooking. Like Kareem, I told you that I'm hooking. In the studio, vocals that I'm booking. James Harden, I can show you that I'm cooking. Oh, that's your girl? Well, she's slutty, boy. I run a train with her with my gully boys. Relieve me, then she taking nutty boy. She taking three D's like the Dudley boys. <laughs> you know Devon and Bubba Ray. They be smoking while they quoting what lovers say. Battle God, hell you niggas thinking. I call him Monte, cause of Ellis what you taking. Oh, I might play off your set. NBA, how we play off your set. Young Kobe bounce eight off your chest. The jewels on my neck, cause I ate off the bread. Uh, and I'm fresh as a Mentos. Foot shot, I'm shooting at your Mentos. They ain't got they strapped in your Mentos. I heard you burning bread. I guess you Mentos. I might let the tech clap you. Bronx native. I'm an X Factor. Mm. They listen when I rhyme too. As for the best, I bend it like Michael. Whoa, Michael Bennett's on the Seahawks. Poseidon clips just for thinking oh, you could see God. Oh. Whoa, see God, Poseidon. You gotta listen. Once we start the rhyming, well, we start the vibing. Oh. We start the vibing. I'm the best with disability. Retarded rhyming. Oh, this that real shit. Only when the real spit this beat is like Irish clothes, cause I killed it. Hey. <laughs> Niggas was laughing at the six nine thing I did earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to leave for us? Any new projects you got coming up? Talk I mean, I'm working on a on a tape right now called On My Own, and it's mm -hmm. supposed to be just a tape of just me showing like my real versatility and what I can do. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be me spitting, like I said, punchlines, stories, stuff for the lady, stuff for the club, stuff for everything. So can't wait to check it out. On what my own, it? I'm trying to release it May, Juneish, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it, man. And I'm actually shooting another, a new, well, two new videos oh, within the next within the next few weeks to a month. So yeah. Oh yeah, we can't wait to have you on after all that. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you for Appreciate coming. You. And ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day. Check us out, guys, on YouTube, Tango TV, Love and Luciano, and the Kobe Show. Signing out. Signing out. Stay tuned for episode three coming up soon. Any day now. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. We love y'all. That was dope. That's for me, mommy, bust it for me, mommy, bust it. Suck it for me, mommy, suck it for me, mommy, suck it. Clutching on a shoddy, clutching on a shoddy, clutching. I'ma catch a body, I'ma catch a body dumping. Girl, you working with some cake, yeah, with some cake, yeah. Watch your back while you shake, yeah, while you shake, yeah. Hold your knees, make it break, yeah, make it break, yeah. I'm like, what's up, Kalo cake?